Hi everybody and welcome to another episode with the Anxious Resistance. Today I'm going to be talking about scopolamine and its potential use as an off-label treatment for anxiety and depression. So what is scopolamine? Scopolamine is a medication currently used to treat nausea and vomiting. It is therapeutically classified as an antiemetic, which is a medication for nausea, and pharmacologically it is classified as a belladonna alkaloid or anti-muscarinic. It is used through a transdermal patch and it has a half-life of around nine and a half hours. Okay, so let's talk about how scopolamine could be used for depression. As it turns out, this medication may have some use in mental health disorders. It is theorized that toning down acetylcholine's action on the muscarinic receptors may produce an antidepressant-like effect. This antidepressant effect is rapid in onset and does not take weeks to months to work like traditional antidepressants. There is a fair amount of evidence pointing to the effective use of scopolamine for depression. One study concludes that scopolamine is an effective and rapid antidepressant in both unipolar and bipolar depression, working as quickly as three days after initial infusion. And then the study goes on to say that independent replication would greatly enhance the literature. So basically that means that repeat the study and make sure that you find the same results. That's usually how the scientific field works. You never really prove anything. You just have further and further and further evidence saying that this could work for this or this does that. Okay, so let's talk about the side effects of scopolamine. They include dizziness, somnolence, which is another word for excessive tiredness, agitation, confusion, dilated pupils, visual impairment, dry mouth, pharyngitis, rash, dryness, contact dermatitis from the patch. So there's some side effects that come from the patch itself and then from the medication. Okay, so let's talk about the evidence behind scopolamine for its use. One study concludes that most of available treatment trials of scopolamine have confirmed rapid onset of antidepressant effects in unipolar and bipolar depression. Scopolamine may be used as an alternative treatment option to ketamine in patients with treatment-resistant depression. Another study determines the results showed that both depressed and bipolar patients demonstrated a rapid and consistent reduction in their Montgomery Asperg depression rating scale scores by three days after the first infusion of scopolamine. So what are the benefits of scopolamine for depression? One of the greatest benefits of this medication is that it can start to work in several days instead of several weeks to months like other antidepressant medication. Scopolamine is also a well-tolerated medication. Because it is administered via a transdermal patch, it keeps a consistent amount of the medication in the bloodstream. Its antidepressant action is unique. This means that if you have failed multiple trials of first and second, maybe even third line treatments, this could be a valid option for you because it works differently than other antidepressants. Okay, so what does the anxious resistance take? This medication shows more promise than many medications that we review. It has some study-backed evidence. Since novel treatment mechanisms are gaining attention in the psychiatric space, we hope that this medication will catch on and the evidence will continue to show its effective use. If you have failed multiple trials of medications for depression, such as SSRIs, SNRIs, and atypical treatments such as mirtazapine or amitriptyline, and maybe you've even failed some add-on medications like Abilify or Rexulti. This may be an option for you. Some other off-label treatments have some better evidence behind them such as ketamine or riluzol. They may be worth looking at first before you take scopolamine. Scopolamine has better evidence behind it than some off-label treatments for depression such as amino acids and other herbal treatments. Scopolamine may be worth a try. It is something that your doctor may be hesitant to prescribe, but if you show your doctor the studies that I list in this article, they may be willing to give it a try. Always be cautious when trying off-label medications as they are not thoroughly studied for these indications. Talk with your doctor if this treatment interests you. Thanks so much for watching this video about scopolamine. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel if you want to hear more about treatments for anxiety, depression, other mental health conditions, and thank you so much for watching.